I made it to the end, and my entire hardcore world was saved by one cobblestone. And you've put in a lot of time into this hardcore world. A lot of time. But before any of that happened, I needed to find the end portal. Which meant I needed to go and get more blaze rods. And we know how that went last time. I was so close to dying. I looked death right in the eyes and I gave her a kiss. Yeah, don't say any weird stuff this time. I built a blaze containment and got to work. I conquered my fear of the blazes and got all the rods that I needed. The second half of getting Eyes of Enders are the Ender Pearls. So I paid a visit to the Grubby Gold Hoarders. Turns out, when you mine all the Nether, you conveniently have a silly amount of piglin spawning. But after the money ran out, so did my friendship with the piglins. But luckily, I had more than enough pearls. I then prepped all the things I'd need for my battle against Big Papa. Who's Big Papa? <laughs> and then I began the hunt for the end portal. After getting lost in the dungeon for about 20 minutes, finally, I found it. And now, it was time. I took one last look at my hardcore world, and then, I jumped in. And then immediately started to fall to my death. But JK, Mojang was just giving me a heart attack. Which brings us to a special program I like to call... I realized that I wasn't dead. But the end spawned me on a disconnected island. Is Is my first challenge of the end was to carefully and slowly build my way over to the Ender Dragon. This honestly scared me more than fighting the Ender Dragon. With a totem, there's hope of surviving almost anything. But even with the totem, if I fall into the void, me and my world are gone forever. Finally, I made it onto solid ground and could breathe a sigh of relief. Not because the fight with the Ender Dragon was on.
And with the last 360 shot, I killed. And with the last 360 shot, 360. Okay, forget it. And with the last very average shot, I defeated the Ender Dragon. But the mission wasn't over yet. I still had an elytra to get. And this is where one cobblestone saved my hardcore world. In order to get to the end islands, you need to take a pearl and throw it through an end gateway. Pretty easy and straightforward. Except for when it's not. There's a glitch in Minecraft that sometimes happens. It's where instead of going into the gateway, the pearl goes through the gateway and straight into the void. In normal Minecraft, it's annoying. In hardcore, it's deadly. And that's why I always build a box around the gateway. And thank goodness I did, because just my luck, my pearl glitched through. And I would have been plummeting down to my death if it weren't for this beautiful block of cobblestone. And that's why he gets a mini throne. I stepped back into the gateway and made it through. Only to spawn right on the edge of another island. End. What the heck? Is I started my search for the end city. I risked my life and world again and again, bridging across islands. Until I found it. I cleared the city, got my elytra, and got out of the end. All thanks to one beautiful piece of cobblestone. Oh, wow.